Or if you're missing stuff from week one, by the end of the semester, you probably won't even be going in. Let's just be real. life and I'm back with another video so today I'm going to be doing a uni tips and tricks for years just because my cousin is going to uni in September and I thought a couple of years might benefit from this video as well so I thought why not why not do it um, and share it for years all to watch Um, so yeah let's just get on with the video so the first tip that I have for years is only go to uni if you know you genuinely want to go to uni. There's no point in going to uni if you think you're only going because your parents say you have to go, because you think it's the next like natural step after like sixth form, college, whatever, because it's not. Some people are better off doing an apprenticeship, some people are better off just getting a job, some people are better off going to uni. But obviously it's not the case for everyone. So only go if you genuinely want to go and you're doing a course that you actually want to do because again if you do a course you don't want to do then let's be real you've got 90 m's possibly you're not going to get up for a 90 m for a course that you don't want to do like number two is just generally making an effort i think with this i mean um especially when it comes to the first few weeks at uni people don't know each other you're trying to make friends trying to get like quite familiar with the grounds with the buildings everything you will make a lot of friends and you will make if you make an effort with trying to speak to people your housemates you are living with them for the whole year so if you're just sitting in your room for the first what four or five days and then you meet tom in the kitchen for the first time it's that's just awkward like how are you gonna be saying oh what's your name like do you know what i mean it's just weird so from the get-go just make an effort and just try and talk to everyone uh, tip number three is make friends when i say make friends i mean make friends with your course make friends with people that you live with make friends with people in the society make friends with people if you get a job make friends everywhere when i say friends i don't mean friends friends you're not going to be best friends you're not going to be able to go talk to everyone about certain things just have people in different friendship groups so like i said people in your course, people in your house, people in societies, because let's say if you've only got friends with people, you're only friends with people that you live with, if you fall out with all of them, you've got no one to chill with. So then if you have course mates, you can go see them, go chill, chill with them, go speak to them about your problems um, and that kind of thing. So just try and make as many friend, friends as you can the first few weeks. Don't think the first person that you meet on day one is going to be your ride or die because that's not going to be the case. They'll probably drop you by december because they've found friends are the best suited to it's normal tip number four is about intro week so like first intro week so when i say intro week i mean like the first week yeah the first week of uni so the first week will be stuff like you have lectures on how to work stuff in the u in the um, library about support that you can get with finance um support if you have a disability um support with like mental health maybe how to get in contact with security what to do with security about the wardens on campus all just random stuff that you don't think is helpful but it will eventually be helpful because i can't even lie when they put um the securities numbers on the board and were like everyone needs to put them in their phone i was just writing them in like okay but i'm not gonna need this tell me why we rang security like my flat rang security so many times in first year like i don't even know why like we just ended up in situations that we had to ring security and we couldn't sort out ourselves honestly you'll realize how helpful they are like three four six months from the time that you have that lecture so if you don't go you'll also miss out but number two reason to go is because they are all with um your course mates so if you're if you miss the whole first week and you come to second week Everyone will have made people, like made friends with everyone. Everyone will know who they're sitting with and you're just gonna walk in and sit by yourself because you were never first week to figure out who you're gonna be friends with and stuff. So that's speak for you. So, so tip number five is budgeting. I can't stress this enough. If, it's, if there's anything you take away from this video, it's budgeting. You have to budget. Otherwise you will be living off nothing. So let's say you have I don't know how much people get for maintenance on obviously but i'll just use this as an, as an example let's say you get 2k um first semester then your accommodation comes about 1500 so you're left with 500 pound 
you know first semester is 12 weeks so make sure you know how much you've got to spend per week otherwise if you're just tapping away contactless on whatever you want when you go to the shop you're going to end up spending like 200 quid in a week from just shopping or from whatever treat yourself to lunch every day you're just going to spend ridiculous amounts of money and then it'll be the last few weeks in the end of semester of the end of the semester where you are living off like bread for every meal because you can't afford anything because you thought you were you would have a steak for breakfast or something i don't know do you know what you just thought you'd splash the cash on anything and everything first second third fourth fifth week it doesn't work like that you need to kind of have a level of how much you're going to kind of spend each week so you don't if you go over it then make sure next week you you're kind of under it so it kind of balances out that kind of thing also if you're at uni and you don't have uni days then i really do not know for you because uni days is babe it is the one it is just the one because when i go to town if i'm getting lunch with my friends we'll be like let's go for food and then we'll be like let's check uni days what's got the biggest deal that kind of thing like it might just be 10 20 percent but it eventually does add up like number six is if you can or if you want to get a job personally i did get a job at uni and i got it very much from the beginning i got it in october um so from the from the very first week of being at uni that very first weekend i was handing out my cv because I went to uni already having had a job so like for two years so I, I couldn't really imagine myself just being at uni sitting around doing nothing on a Saturday or Sunday so I thought I'm gonna have to get a job also because my maintenance loan would have covered this but I thought you know like if I've got a job I can probably splash the cash a tiny bit more or treat myself every so often or go on holiday with my friends or buy what like I wouldn't have to worry too much because I've got extra money coming in constantly so yeah I got a job and I love it I, I really like it everyone's really nice Um, so yeah I can't I wouldn't I couldn't wouldn't complain about getting a job the only thing this is the only thing about getting a job I got a job and I am not, I'm not saying if I didn't get a job, I'd be on top of my work, I'd be getting first, I'd be, like, I'd be doing assignments the day I get them. But I do think I would have been more on job, I'd be more, like, in the library to getting stuff done. I wouldn't be as behind as I am. But let's be real, uni is not about just the assignments, just the grades, just doing your work it's about meeting new people the experience making mistakes and learning from them so number seven is overpacking personally it was never gonna happen to me because um i have clothes but i have like just enough clothes to get me through like maybe like two and a half weeks of uni um well before i went to uni but now i've got quite a lot of clothes because i bought them when i got to uni um so don't overpack i think a lot of people think they have to take everything they've got at home in case like they need it even though they've never worn it when they're at home um but you definitely obviously can go shop when you get to uni and if you do want that top then you can just get your parents to post it out to you you could just go back and get it when you go home halfway through the semester or at christmas or whenever like it's not a big deal so like don't think you have to take everything to uni on move-in day because obviously you can eventually get it or just buy a replacement. So number eight is about freshers. So freshers obviously like, I think they're very much, I wouldn't even say a stereotype because like, this is very much what everyone does, it's not even a stereotype. <laughs> um, goes out, get drunk, um, go to clubs, all this stuff. But it's not always all about that because during freshers week, my uni has two weeks of freshers week. We have like the freshers fair where the societies you can join societies you can find out about them and um, there's also sports clubs there so you can also try and find out about the sports clubs there's also stuff like poster sales this is all happening during like freshers week um so there's so much that you can find out about uni during the first two well one or two weeks of uni there'll be stuff like giving out vouchers for pizza hut about dominoes about restaurant just anything and everything there's loads of stuff around campus going on and there's, lo <laughs> there's loads of things going on around campus that's what i mean there's loads of things going on like around campus um that you can always get involved in especially um, during freshers week um but yeah do take advantage of the fact that you can go out and yes lectures on that full-on if you're not going out obviously you have to do stuff like movie nights go bowling 
um, just chilling, games nights, all of, there's so much you can do. Obviously not everyone wants to go out, not everyone wants to go out every single night as well. So there's so many opportunities you can do stuff and meet other flats um, in your block, in your building, whatever as well. So number nine is about grades and assessments. Obviously you are at uni, therefore you're trying to get your degree. So grades and assessments are just as important as anything else. Well, if not more important, well, obviously it is more important because you are at uni to pass, to graduate. So if you're not taking it all seriously, then don't go, just don't go. If your end game isn't to graduate, then it's not the place for you. Do formatives, people don't do formatives. I don't understand, like, a couple of people I know don't do formatives and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Formatives are the ones that don't count towards your grade and like a practice and then summatives are the ones that count towards your grade and um, obviously are the real one. So if you don't do your formatives and you have no feedback to do your summative or you've got no groundwork to improve, therefore you're just doing it from scratch with no improvement and you don't know where you've gone wrong and you don't know how to improve. So if you don't do a formative, you really kind of might be putting yourself up to fail. Let's be real. I'm just going to put it as it is. I'm going to put it straight. You won't help yourself at all. It doesn't make sense, but you do you, I'll do me, I'll do my formatives. If you don't want to do them, you don't do them. So number 10 is when you're looking for a house, start early, but not early too, not too early because then you might not know who, you look, who you're going to be moving in with and also you might pick the wrong people to move in with and then... You might not be friends with Susie, Holly and Beatrice um, right before you're supposed to sign a lease and now you're stuck with them for the next year. Um, so don't start looking too early. Maybe start looking like, I would say, end of October maybe. So kind of know exactly who you're going to be living with before Christmas and then start looking for houses maybe before Christmas, after Christmas because... If you're leaving it too late, then you are literally limiting yourself to where you can get a house. So for me, this year, I'm in a house which has seven people. We would have no chance of getting a house if we looked for a seven bedroom house in March. There, there was just no chance we are going to get it because there's not that many. There's quite a few three, four and five bedroom houses, mostly fours, fours are the most popular houses. Um, so yeah, don't leave it too late, especially if you've got a large houses, especially also maybe if you're too or maybe it's by yourself they're quite difficult to look for um so start at a decent time know where you want to live don't live too far from uni because otherwise if you're trying to walk half an hour to uni you might not even bother coming especially if you night have 9 a.m's um try and live close in a place that has other students possibly so number 11 is don't be afraid to ask for help so when it comes to literally anything like especially like let's say it was to do with your actual work and content if you don't understand something just email your lecturer ask your lecturer in person after the lecture and um, just whatever because let's be real they are getting paid for it so if you don't ask and you fail that is on you if you fail they still get paid if you fail you might not pass um on to the next year so it is really a you thing so if you're not like trying to help yourself then no one can do that for you let's be real no one can do that for you well, especially first yeah a lot of people don't know what's going on we all act like we know what's going on but we don't um so don't be scared to ask for help because most times a lot of people don't know what's going on or a bit confused as well also um if you can't ask friends if you can't ask if it's not something to do with your lectures as well the student union will always um answer any questions you've got always help you because um, obviously you don't know the actual people at the student union, they're not like your friend, they're not like your lecturer, you don't know them personally. So sometimes it might be also nice to get advice or help from someone that you don't know. Um, you've also got an advisor at uni, um, I'm pretty sure like every uni does this. Number 12 is the last one and it is about food and food shops. So, oh my gosh, I've had a very traumatic experience when it comes to food shops because um, I went for a food shop um, first year to Asda and with, it was ages away from uni and the bus just didn't come. So me and my friends were at the side of the road with bags and bags and bags of shopping. The bags were breaking, the bus wasn't turning up, prees were starting in like 20 minutes, we were so bad. It was just, it wasn't good, it was not good. So I do not recommend going for big food shops um, on the bus because 
it's just it's just not good it's just not cute yeah definitely do food shops online um a lot of them are like if you spend over 40 pound you get free delivery or something like that um but you might not spend 40 pound by yourself so just get your friends to chip in be like oh do you need some bread or oh, do you need some milk or oh, do you need some eggs do you need some pasta just chuck them in as much like all these like pound two pound three pounds that your friends will chip in eventually will get you to possibly the free delivery or just to be able to even get delivery and pay members a little bit for it. Um, um, but yeah, I think that's very that's very much everything for my tips and tricks. Um, I will be doing some more uni videos, I think, at some point. But yeah, if you have any other questions about uni, send them my way. I have got my socials in the description, so you can just message me. But yeah, other than that, thank you very much, and I will see you in my next video.